Hey. Cause shotgun bullets are bad for your health. Whoa, you are getting quite gangster there, fella. Oh, didn't see you there. I am a big gangster <laughs> myself. They think he's a righteous dude. What's happening, my friends? Good to see you. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy. In this video, I want to show you guys something I really love to do. This time of year when it's cold, caveat, I live in Florida, so 60 degrees is cold for yeah, me. Yeah, there's a difference between real winters and then Florida winters. Truth. Yep. Super gangster. <laughs> <laughs> no, so whenever it is cold, the cold time of year for me, and I'm sure lots of you around the country who are freezing cold, Betty, did you see Betty's the other day? Yeah, it was rough. So much snow. So in this video, I want to show you something I like to do with lamb. We're going to do a beautiful, it's almost like a refreshing lamb salad type thing, which you typically wouldn't think of when it's warm, uh, when it's cool out, but it has this warming, wonderful warming flavor to it. It's really fantastic, really simple. We're going to do that with a pomegranate soy sauce glaze action. It's going to be unreal. I'm going to just have to take your word for it, guy. You'll eat lamb. Nah, dude. <laughs> 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 oh, let's get into it. Okay. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. <laughs> The first thing I need to do is get to my sauce. Now, this is a reduction sauce, so I'm gonna start with some pomegranate juice. Do you like pomegranate, buddy? I do. Well, let's turn this guy on real quick. So today I'm on my 17-inch uh, range top. I love the versatility of being able to have a burner on one side and my griddle on the other. Now, this sauce really is super simple. I'm gonna do two parts pomegranate juice and one part soy sauce. We're gonna reduce this down until it's almost like syrup, really thick and beautiful. That sounds yummy. It, it is. All right, that looks fantastic. Now we're gonna let this go. We're gonna let this come up to a boil. We're gonna see those bubbles start to happen. We're gonna do a reduction sauce. We'll talk about it later, but there's a few things to look for so that you know your reduction sauce is perfect. Uh, so that's gonna need about 10 to 15 minutes or so, but we can go ahead and season our gorgeous lamb chops. Look at these gorgeous little babies. I, know I you was said thinking you didn't to like myself, those look like gorgeous little babies. Were you? Nope. You should, because these little lamb chops are stunning. They're my favorite B word. They are B A beautiful. <laughs> B E A beautiful. Is that how you spell it? B E A beautiful. I'm gonna add Weird. some oil to these uh, meat treats. These things are awesome. They're really tiny and small, a little bit ex on the more expensive side, more expensive than beef. Uh, however, they are really, really wonderful this time of year. So if you want to elevate your flavor game, make sure you get that little fat cap side too. Just go ahead and get a little bit of little oil rub on there. All right, to this, I'm gonna add some of our steakhouse seasoning. Let's be pretty generous with this. I wanna get all sides we want to even get that fat cap side and the bone. Uh, these are fairly thick, so don't be afraid to be generous. Perfect, and we're gonna let that sit uh, for just a little bit until we are ready. Oh, you know what we could do? <gasps> Let's do the bones. Hey. Oh, hello. She don't like meat, but she shall like, like the, the bone. bone. Hey, dude, look at your sauce. Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. All right, just finish up that last little bit of lamb. Let's dancing do. Dancing now, dancing. This is I don't the know second if those time are like because I was going to. She said, dance, 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 dance. Dancing, dancing, She's a dancing she. Wow. We are on She's different pages. She's a reduction sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you can see, we've got these big bubbles. They, they form and they pop. They form and they pop. They form and they pop really fast. That means our viscosity has not reached the place where we want it. We want those bubbles to get really big and hold for just a second, but it is cruising along nicely. So we're gonna let this go. You'll notice the level of liquid go down and down and down as it reduces. That's the water evaporating, cooking out, and all of those beautiful flavors left over all behind right. it. All right. Easy peasy. Wanna get some of our prep? Yeah. Let's get our salad going. So I'm gonna leave my steak yeah, we off. Haven't, we haven't ring, ring the bell in a while. Just We're figured in. the crowd was probably getting tired and needed a drink as well. Are they, are, they, are they out there playing the beautiful game? Yeah. Every time I say beautiful, they, they take, take a, a drink. drink. They would be hammered by They'd this point. They'd say it twice. I've only said it a handful of times. We're only three minutes into the video. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. 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 Yeah. Right, I'm going to take a bit of red onion. I'm going to cut this guy in half. 
And we're gonna go really thin, as thin as you can. If you have a mandolin, go for it. Do it, it's um, way easier. Yeah, but if you You don't have to try to be impressive, just use the simple technique and get a mandolin. Or work on your knife skills and get really paper thin red onion. This really is key, having paper thin red onion because we don't want uh, like a really overpowering giant piece of red onion in our salad. Okay. We're gonna take this and throw it right into a bowl. Oh, the old one. <laughs> <laughs> you can break that up just a little bit if you want to. Beautiful. Now I'll have two beautiful greens. There's that beautiful word again. Uh, you've deal with yeah. it. Dealing. I've got some arugula. This is baby arugula. Sometimes you see it uh, labeled rocket. It is really fantastic. It's almost peppery. Uh, rocket. I've never seen it labeled that. Oh, really? Never. They call it, they call it rocket arugula sometimes. Oh, instead of baby arugula. Yeah, depending on where where you're shopping. Okay. I've also got some spring mix. So I'm doing equal parts of the arugula and arugula. the spring mix. Give this a nice little toss. Now we haven't added any liquid yet. We just want to get an even distribution of the greens and the onions. All right, beautiful like that. I like it. I like beautiful, it. Beautiful, beautiful, totally. Totally. beautiful. Totally. I'm glad you recognize that, CJ. Now to this, we're gonna add a couple of fun little things. We're gonna do some Supremes. So we're going to Supreme a uh, an orange. So we're gonna basically cut off both ends so we have flat surfaces. We're gonna cut the pith and the skin off. And then we're gonna make gorgeous little individual slices of orange. This is really elegant for presentation. All right, let me br uh, bring my bowl back over here because I wanna save both some of the juice and these Supremes. So uh, you see where those channels are that kind of mark off where the little uh, individual sections of fruit are. We're gonna follow one line down mm -hmm. and then the other line down and what we're left with is that beautiful oh. little Supreme. It's pretty beautiful. It is, look at you, you're catching on. <laughs> Here's another one, there we go. Uh, this really doesn't change the flavor of the orange obviously, but it does change the presentation. And I am all about making lovely delicious food but if we can make it beautiful as well then let's do that so you've got like food vanity food vanity yeah almost like your beard vanity whoa guy it's getting real you are crossing the line <laughs> <laughs> just got real jeez but yes <laughs> <laughs> now we have this leftover orange there's still a ton of beautiful action here so we're going to squeeze this right Ooh. over the top it's going to be part of our little vinaigrette so give a squeeze to whatever we have left over. We're gonna go peek at our sauce real quick, buddy. Oh, I'm smelling it. Yeah, come check this out, dude. We're starting to get some really great reduction. You can see the original line of where the sauce started right up here. Mm -hmm. and you see how much it's dropped. So we're losing a lot of moisture, which is fantastic. We're just left with that big flavor. I would say we're almost halfway, which means it's time to crank our griddle side up to High heat. Okay. High heat. There it is. Alrighty. Let's go with some Earl. Good old <laughs> Olive Earl. I'm gonna be pretty generous with that. I like it. Uh, but we're gonna finish our salad real quick while that's coming up to heat. So I have my orange juice, my greens, my oranges. I'm gonna add a bit of oil here. Just a bit of oil. So this is like a citrus orange vinaigrette. Oh yeah. A little salt, a little pepper. Now I have some beautiful little uh, pomegranate arils. These are basically the individual little pieces of pomegranate. All right, that's lovely. I'm gonna give this a little toss and our salad is done so good, buddy. I think somebody should, because I don't want to do it, give us a beautiful count for this video. Because there's a lot of beauty in this Take video, it easy. apparently. Take it easy, my friend. Hey, look, you know. I'm here for you. No, you say that all the time and it's obvious. It's obvious. You're not. <laughs> yes. There we go. Finally. You did Am I not? Did something for me, finally. All right, our oil is almost there. Let's prep our green onions real quick. Now, you know, we've talked about this before, CJ. The flavor profile on a green onion is quite different from the whites to the greens. So I want both, but I'm not cutting them any more than that. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to our griddle top. Oh, Whoa, see our bubbles? Oh, buddy. Now magic is happening. See, the bubbles look completely different. So now just by looking at it, we can see the bubbles are getting bigger and holding a bit longer. That means we're losing a lot of that moisture. We're getting a much thicker, velvety sauce. 
That is almost done. Let's go down with our green onions okay. over here. And Biddy, uh, Biddy? Biddy. Biddy, you can stay there. I'm gonna come over with my lamb. And we're gonna go with our lamb. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful little things. Now this is a really fun one you can do, even on this 17 inch range top, you can do a lot for a lot of people, surprisingly. I could have doubled this amount and still have space. Well, sure, we still got space, man. Oh, yeah, so are we gonna season color. those green onions at all? Nope, not at in? all. You'll see why later when you get to this sauce, because this sauce, unbelievable. And we are- Gonna be pretty rich. We're really close. Nice. The salty, sweet relationship between pomegranate juice and soy sauce makes an incredibly rich, uh, it's a very bold flavor. So we don't need a ton of seasoning because that sauce is gonna kind of change things up as we take a- Oh, you power, your power's off. Yeah, okay, that's a good reminder. <laughs> okay. Okay. My hands were oily. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. You see these bubbles coming up? That means the residual heat, I'm going to turn this all the way off. The residual heat is going to let this cool down. It's going to start to thicken up. And we are left with a stunning, beautiful sauce. So let this cool down a little bit and you'll notice it thicken up. You notice how, how much liquid is gone. Yeah, dude, there's like nothing right? in there now. Yeah. It's definitely reduced by about 75%. So if we would have left it on longer, it would have got like sticky, gummy, oh, yeah. non-usable. No fun for anyone. All right, uh, two minutes and our lamb is ready to flip. Okay. Two minutes. There she is. There we go. All right, thank you, sir. Let's give our green onions a flip and our lamb. Those are looking fantastic. Now we want to keep these uh, rare, medium rare-ish, because I know that's your favorite, CJ. Yes, sir. So Unfortunately, about, I'm not going to be eating this lamb. Let's talk about plate presentation. Now, you could definitely use any plate that you like. I like the idea of using a plank because we have so much going on. It gives us a really great um, place to start. So I'm going to go over on this side with a nice handful of my salad. Let's keep it nice and tight into the center. Beautiful like that. This is going to be... This is actually beautiful. It's going to be CJ. gorgeous. Yeah. It really is. Thanks, I'll, I'll let you use the word appropriately. Thank you. As if I don't. I like that. Well, you overuse it, and when you overuse words, they lose their their strength. <laughs> do they? They do. Okay. Let's grab our green onions. They only needed a second. I want to keep a bit of that crunch. So we're gonna go with all of our green onions, and we're gonna make this kind of like. I'm gonna kind of wrap this a little bit. Actually, Whoa. I'm gonna go in the center here. Yeah, beautiful. Now it's still just it has a little bit of that texture. It has a little bit of crunch, but we have that lovely, gorgeous char. Let's check on our. I think we're looking good over here. I'm gonna go with this first one, because I want to keep it rare. Come on over, follow me, follow me. Let's do, uh, let's do four. Do two, give us some height right on top. Oh, I'm feeling good about that. Come on now, come on. All right, now we have this gorgeous sauce, buddy. Talk to me see? about the sauce, what are we doing here? So we've let it cool off for just a couple of minutes. Can you see it's almost got like a, like molasses, almost like maple syrup. Yeah. It's thick, the viscosity is stunning. All right, we're gonna give this a drizzle over the top. So we're gonna take our spoon, buddy. Can you see? We're gonna mix in some of that. Soy sauce is reducing. Oh, to the woe town. Now this sauce really was simple. It was two ingredients. However, it wow. has a ton of flavor, like nuts. Crazy amount of flavor. That's woe. That's Woe Town record. I gotta take my gloves off. I'm gonna get <laughs> yeah. into this. I'm gonna cut this. Look at that. Now, I, I like mine uh, fairly on the rare side, which is cool. You can go a little bit longer if you like, but me? It's Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. It's a Christmas miracle. We actually do have a lot of fun Christmas colors going on the green onions. Check this out, buddy. Now, we just got a little bit of char. Remember, we did not season these. Right. We didn't need to, but. We got our special sauce, oh. our glaze. It's so good. The soy sauce and the pomegranate reduce in a really lovely way. So we still maintain a lot of saltiness from the soy, but it's also like a savory saltiness, like an umami saltiness. Mm. With the sweetness, we get a lot of flavor. Let's get over here to our salad. That arugula is nice and peppery. Let's get a little piece of our orange. So we've got some great acidity. We've got some sweetness, some salty. All of this together, absolute flavor bomb. You sure you don't want to try this, CJ? Nope. I mean, yes. You don't. No. You definitely don't. If you don't like lamb, that's totally cool. 
I happen to be a big fan of it. Most lamb you find, you'll see it marketed as like a New Zealand lamb or a grass-fed lamb typically. That's gonna have a bit more of that gamey flavor, that grassy flavor. But if you can find Colorado lamb, they generally feed that grain like they do cattle, so it has much less of that gamey flavor, which you probably like. This is New Zealand lamb. Then that would be a problem. <laughs> that would be a big problem. Hmm. It's not a problem, because that gamey flavor is fantastic. It's wonderful, it tastes like lamb. It's okay, I make lamb. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, I make lamb. Come. Well, thank you guys so much. This one's really, really fun. Give this a try. Have a very Merry Christmas. Let's say Merry Christmas until Merry February. Merry Christmas. Let's just keep Let's saying, just keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Because this year has been tough, 2021. We need a little, like, extra pep in our step in Come 2021, on. We bro. do. Uh, this is really fun. Be sure to check out our um, YouTube channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button, this little bell icon. That way you get a notification every time we post a video. Check out CJ's first cooking show, Betty's show, Todd's show. But this is Cook, Eat, Repeat, where we are trying to help you become a better cook. One... Recipe at a time. Yes, I'm your host, indeed. Chef Nathan Lippy. I'll see you guys in the next video.